Hi, this is Dr. Tony Lamana. Today I'm going to be showing you what I do for a warm-up for a kettlebell snatch workout. I'm going to give you several examples of what you can do for a kettlebell snatch workout. This is a White Lion Athletics kettlebell project. So the first thing I do is I like to warm up the shoulders, elbows, and wrists by doing a little bit of uh, rotations with the club. So I do some inside mills first. Okay, And what I do is I do about 20 of these and then I switch to the outside mill. And then what I'll do, I'll do about 10 of those actually, and then I do 10 what I call front to back club swings. And then switch hands and do the same. And I usually do two rounds of that. So 20, 10, 10, 20, 10, 10 each arm. And then I go a second round for the, uh, again, uh, through those uh, three movements. And that really opens up the shoulders, elbows, wrists, gets everything nice and loose, gets some blood flowing. Then what I like to do is I like to, if I'm doing, let's say, a specific weight for the kettlebell workout, I like to warm up with a lighter weight, doing some snatches. And then, so let's say I'm doing 20 kilograms, right, so we've got our 20 kilogram here. I'm going to warm up, let's say, with a 16 kilogram, okay? And what I like to do is I like to do 20 rep sets, and so on each arm. Okay? You can go lighter if you need to. It really depends on what work you get, what weight you're going to be working with. And so uh, I'll do a set with uh, a lighter kettlebell, sometimes two sets with a lighter kettlebell. I'll do a set, usually 10 and 10, with the kettlebell I'm going to be working with. So in this case, it would be the 20 kilogram. And then oftentimes, I even like to do just a little bit heavier, and I'll do a set of 10 and 10 with maybe a 22 kilogram. It really depends on what you have available you know, which kettlebells you have available for you. Now, some workouts that I like to do, uh, one workout that I think is a really good starter workout for uh, kettlebell technique, for snatch, and kettlebell sport type snatch work, uh, is to do what's called an every minute on the minute where I take a 10 minute set, or you can start out with five minute sets, and you pick a certain number of reps. So if you wanna do eight reps each arm, or 10 reps each arm, set it down, and then rest. It's a good idea to target when you're starting out, maybe doing 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest each minute, or 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest each minute. And again, you can do that for five minutes, setting a timer, or you can even expand that to 10 minutes and you can even alternate those, okay? Another way I like to do workouts is in five and 10 minute sets, I like to do um, where I switch hands as many times as I like, but I like to not set the kettlebell down. So when we're snatching, again, if we're doing a five minute set, you know, we're doing some kettlebell snatch, and let's say I did an X amount of reps and I'm tired, I'll switch, and then just keep going and let that timer count down to the five minutes or building up eventually to the 10 minute set. I will say that's gonna be harder than not setting it down. So you're gonna, if you're starting out, you're gonna do the set down for at least a portion of your set that's something you can build up into, but even when you're doing five and 10 minute sets, you can go back and do the every minute on a minute type of workout where you'll do 40 seconds of work or whatever number of reps you wanna do per minute, set it down, get the rest, and go from there. A really great thing about this is they did studies, uh, a study, where they compared kettlebell snatch interval style technique, which is kinda of what I'm talking about here, with uh, running, and to see how many calories it burns. And, and for 20 minutes of kettlebell snatch technique, it burned the equivalent of running a six minute mile for 20 minutes. And so lots of calorie burning. The only difference is I believe the, the kettlebell uh, is more beneficial overall for the body in the sense that you're working more muscle groups. So you're gonna overall activate more metabolism. You're also gonna build more strength that way. Running builds strength for running, but kettlebell builds strength for the overall body, hips, legs, upper body, shoulders, core. Okay, so all of those muscles will be working. The last workout I wanna give you is, you can do a workout where you, um, I call it a pyramid workout, where I'll start with a kettlebell, and I'll do 10 uh, snatches each arm, Rest for a very short period of time, pick up a heavier kettlebell. So I'm starting at 16 kilograms, I'll go 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 28, 32, something like that, and then go all the way back down the pyramid, okay? And so doing 10 and 10 each arm, or as I get heavier, sometimes I will drop it 
to uh, less reps depending on what your, you know, what your ability is. And again, you can do as many steps in the pyramid as you like. Start off maybe with, let's say, three steps with a peak and then three steps down. So what that will be the equivalent of is doing about seven sets. And so, uh, and then your, your, your pyramid, your peak set is going to be your heaviest set. If you have any questions, let me know. Stay strong. I'll see you next time.